it's Viviana and today it's day number one No <laughs> Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today it's day number two of Restyle in December And for today's video, I'll be doing over a style I posted way back on April 1st, 2016 now this was one of my first natural hair tutorial that I posted that I was actually feeling myself. I think my vision came alive with this hairstyle. I don't know how long this moisture is going to last for, but for now, if anybody wants to come and say, oh, can I touch your hair? I'll be like, yes, feel it because my hair is soft. Yeah. <laughs> So I haven't rewatched the video in over a year and a half ago. So we're gonna follow along with the tutorial from back in the day and recreate this look. So clearly this restyle isn't really a restyle, more of a variation, but it works, right? And starting this hairstyle, all I knew was that I wanted the sides pulled back. You know, like how some guys would get the sides of the hair shaved and it looked like a high top yeah that's what i was trying to mimic but with corners instead okay girl inspiration from all over so i just decided how far up i wanted the corners to go and how far back then after deciding that i clipped the rest of the hair out of the way with my trusty metal clips now to make my life a whole lot easier I think I decided to pre part the cornrows, right? Twist them and pin them out of the way. I don't think pre parting my sections is necessary for me now because my hair is longer and I can easily just, you know, clip it away. For each of these corner sections, I applied the leave in conditioner from the original line as my moisturizer. Then I used the Design Essential Honey Custard from the Natural Lines as my gel and that I apply to either side of the section and I apply some edge control to my edges. Yes, I apply the edge control. I still have both of those products. These are absolute favorites of mine. This is my second jar and this is still the same one that I used back then. <laughs> But both of them are actually almost finished, so might as well use them in this tutorial, right? And that gives my hair a neater appearance and I'm more likely to catch all the flyaways. And I secured each corner with a tiny rubber elastic band. Be sure not to wrap it too tightly or you might cause breakage. And you can see how pre-sectioning the hair makes things go by a lot smoother because all I do now is just grab a section, apply my product, and just start canroing. So guys, I know I should be doing over the style that I did back in the day and you know, showing you guys how it looks on my hair now. However, can I beg a little pardon for this one? I was just thinking that I have a lot of recent twist out tutorials and yeah, this is a defined chunky twist out. So I was wondering how about I do a chunky braid out instead? Uh, can we? So since for this tutorial, back in the day, I did cornrows to the sides and a chunky twist out. How about for the restyle, we do flat twist to the side and a chunky braid out to the back. Let's restyle it. And do start canroing. And after replicating the same pattern on the other side, I decided that I'm going to add an next corner just to make the top section a little narrower and give more of a more hockey look. <laughs> if this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching, hi, my name is Viviana and I'm a product junkie. Hi, it's Viviana, it's 2017 and I'm still a product junkie. <laughs> and you see that curl stretching cream I was using? Since then, it has become my favorite curling cream and moisturizer. 
but since I am trying to reform of my Product Junkie ways, I have yet to repurchase that curl stretching cream. So for this video, I will be using the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner as my curling cream and the Design Essential Natural Curl Enhancing Mousse as my holding agent. Any of you guys that are newly natural or thinking about becoming natural, is there any hairstyle that uh, I guess you keep thinking about and you really want to try once you become natural or once you do your big chop? Yeah, this was that hairstyle for me, the chunky twist out. Uh, I've always seen girls rocking it with their short hair and I admired it and uh, that's what I really wanted to do. So this is normally the size I would do my twist outs with, but this is looking really small. So let me increase the size a little more. Um, Cause really and truly, I mean I really know what me I do. I haven't done a braid out since my hair has become this length. You know, thinking about it, it's not my first braid out, but it's my first braid out using plaits ever. So, you know, we're just trying to figure this out. <laughs> Let me see if this can just do one big plait. And it's still looking very thin, but <laughs> let's keep it at this size. This is gonna be interesting. Very interesting. He's about to baby, oh, oh Lord, have his mercy, hey, I say, I'm feeling all this, she already know this, she want a bad man to come and be the oldest, I'm feeling all this, she already know this, she want a bad man to come and be the oldest, you want murder me, hey, 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 you want murder me, hey, hey, hey. She want murder I'm the guy you never heard of So pack it up and put it on a broda Baby girl I know you want murder Your face, your eyes Looking very nice The way you want I want you to be my son Make you it up and put it on me Girl make you follow me and be my only So make you go down Go down So I've finished doing my plaits And I know it doesn't look very chunky At first glance but there are only like 14 plaits in my head right now so i'm not even going to bother tying my hair up right now i'm gonna just go sit under the dryer right away for at least three hours and uh, yeah hope for the best and in the morning i could tell from the moisture and the shine and the juiciness of my twist that this hairstyle was going to turn out really nice all i had to do was just not spoil it up in the separating process hi guys so my plaits should be completely dried they are not as juicy looking as my twists would have looked but i think they look nice right but guys don't think that is just oil alone going to help with the frizzing you know what you have to do is ensure that your hair is moisturized and detangled prior to setting your twist or your braids, okay? And then another precaution to prevent frizzing while separating the hair is to not force the separating process, okay? If the hair doesn't want to separate, leave it alone, okay? Separate only what wants to be separated and what wants to be left alone. Just try and fluff it a little bit and leave it. Then afterwards, I went in with my pick just to further hide any parts and yeah, that's how I did my first chunky twist out. And taking down those plaits only took me less than five minutes. And look at the definition! Guys, my hair just never ceased to amaze me. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? So now I'm going to spray a really light oil on my hair to help me separate and also to give my hair some extra shine. I think that's what this style is lacking. A little extra shine, so yeah. So 
So I do like the results. I really, really do. I'm, I'm loving how the length of my hair is really popping in this style. However, I do think that my braid out had so much more potential, but it's not there yet because my head dry. <laughs> my hair is dry. I feel as though if I had used a more moisturizing curl cream, then my plaits would have looked a lot juicier and shinier, and uh, then my braid out would have turned out just the same. You know, <laughs> juicy and shiny. I think I'm going to try these different hairstyles at the different stages of my hair growth and my hair journey. Considering how thick I did those twists, I think the definition on this uh, twist out is fabulous. So if you're doing this style and your hair is longer than the original tutorial, then you can either just wear it down like this, or you could pin it back, you know, do a little pompadour, like that, that's cute. Or you can take the center part right here and do like a, a top knot. cute as well right let me know down in the comment section out of those three options which way would you rock it and I understand sometimes subscribing to a channel can feel like a little bit of a commitment I get it so if you are new to my channel I'll have some videos up in the eye cards for you to watch get familiar with my channel and what we do around here and if you like what you see you can subscribe or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love you're welcome to subscribe okay beauties later because I only pulled out the twists as you saw I just pulled out the twists I have not fluffed the hair or separated it any further so yeah but it just looks so nice and juicy Oh god, those tears were real. Guys, I was so frustrated at the perm rods that weren't working out for me. And guess what? I still do not like.